Let me draw this, how to understand what has happened in Christ. These two vertical lines obviously represent what God has done and what God will do. And you have this line that is broke. This is the first coming of Christ. And this is the second coming of Christ. When this line represents, let's say, the world or the evil age that is going on. But with the first coming of Christ, do you notice there is a dot, dot, dot. This has received a death blow. But with the coming of Christ, what has begun is the new creation has already begun which will come into completion with the second coming of Christ. So here we are with the life, the death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus. The new kingdom of God has been inaugurated. This is the inauguration of the kingdom of God. But a day is coming when you will have the consummation of the kingdom of God. So we are somewhere here maybe. All right. We are living between the times, between the first and the second coming. When the world is also there, but it is passing away. 1 Corinthians 7.31 The world in its present form is passing away, but it's still there. The devil is still going around. And the kingdom of God, remember Mark 1.15, Jesus said, Repent, believe the good news. But he said, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God has come. And Jesus, by his acts of deliverance and healing and resurrections, or raising people from the dead, all that was showing the kingdom has already come. It has not fully come. It has been inaugurated. This is sometimes used the word already. This is already here. Of course, not yet here, not yet, already not yet. We are living in between the already and the not yet. And so, the new creation has already started in Christ. That's what Paul is saying in 2 Corinthians 5.17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, you have entered new creation. So, that's why James will say, do not love the world because there is no future here. The value systems that the world teaches us here has no future. In this kingdom of God and all its fullness, the new age that is coming in fullness, there is no future for these values that the world holds dear. But there will be a continuation of these values. And that is what Paul says, these Judaizers don't realize that we have entered a new, and it has nothing to do with following circumcision, which was previous to this, the sign of the covenant. The sign of the covenant now is the Holy Spirit who circumcises our hearts. 